All right, so uh, this is gonna be a pretty cool one. Um, definitely one of the wildest encounters I've ever had in the woods. Probably will never experience anything like it again. Uh, as far as I know, I don't know anyone that's ever experienced anything like it. And uh, all I really did is share a Facebook post about it and kind of left it at that. Uh, I've been wanting to do a video about it, just talking about it and actually show some video footage from that day and uh, some other information I've gathered about the bear. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, but before we do all that, there's a couple things I want to go over and just put it out there and make sure everyone understands and knows. So the first thing is this bear that I'm talking about that I caught um, is not Petals the Bear from New Jersey. That's like the most famous bipedal upright, upright walking bear. Uh, it's not Petals. So if you thought it was, if you thought maybe he migrated down from New Jersey to good old Southern West Virginia, it's not because from the information I, I gathered uh, online um, I believe Petals the bear got killed uh, by a hunter legally in New Jersey when they had a hunt so don't think it's him actually I know it's not him <laughs> so in West Virginia uh, we got a pretty unique uh, bear training season uh, we're allowed to run our dogs all year long there's no like start date end date all that stuff like some states do uh, West Virginia we just kind of got an open training season but usually most guys get out in uh, springtime or summer and uh, start training their dogs and that's what we were doing so by training I mean like we're not killing the bear we're just it's called uh, the best way to describe it is catch and release hunting so basically we'll tree the bear and then let it go and no harm no harm no you know no foul nothing like that uh, and it's just to help get the dogs in shape so when it is actually hunting season um, we're not just starting from scratch our dogs are out of shape it's hot and puts the dog's health at risk. Um, we're able to start them you know, earlier in the spring and summer uh, when it's not as hot versus like the dog days of August when it's really hot or September when our seasons start coming in we can actually kill bears. Uh, basically the, the training season just allows us to one of course train the dogs but you know also get them in shape and ready for season so it's just like prep. Anyways, I was rigging my dogs. And if you're not familiar with that, that's just when you put the dogs up on top of the dog box. So in the bed of my truck, I've got a dog box and a rack that goes around and they're attached uh, from their collar, like a leash, um, but we call them leads, on top of the dog box. And I was rigging and my dogs blow up, start barking. And that means they smell a bear. So uh, I get out of the truck, let them loose, let a few of them loose, and they gun it out of there, barking every breath, which means it's a hot track. Uh, so the bear is somewhere close by. So I go ahead and feed in the rest of my dogs right there because I had some help there that day and uh, I went ahead and turned in the rest of my dogs. And I think that was uh, probably five, maybe six dogs of my own total. I can't remember exactly how many I had that day. Anyways, they don't go very far at all and pull up treed on my Garmin, which shows me they're stopped and they're barking. So I knew they had caught something. Um, so I holler at the guys I'm hunting with and say, hey, you know, I think we got one down there. But we knew the bear was caught, and so uh, they turned in their dogs, just the one, to help get them in shape too, because even just treeing will help get your dog in shape. So I start making my way up the hill to where the bear is. Uh, and as I get closer, I can tell just by the sound of it that the bear is on the ground. Uh, so I'm walking up through there, and I get up there to it, and I cannot believe what I see. Uh, there is a bear on its hind legs running around like a Sasquatch looking thing. Uh, I mean, it was bizarre. Uh, as you can see, of course, I'm gonna show the video there. Uh, the dogs are surrounding it um, because, you know, their job is to catch the bear and that's what they did. Uh, and, and of course, this bear, not like normal bears. A normal bear can run really well. Even bigger ones, they can run. People often mistake bears as all being fat and slow. And realistically, like in West Virginia, uh, I would say an average size bear is probably like 150 pounds. And that bear can move uh, really well. And you would be shocked how well they climb. But anyways, this bear obviously didn't have that ability because he only had two rear legs, which is wild. I mean, obviously, that's not a very common thing. So I get up there to it. And obviously, like, I'm just struck. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Um, I had heard of this bear. Now I've heard of the bear in the area uh, and in this particular spot the bear had never been there. Um, basically the bear, I knew of the bear being across the road and down like miles miles away. But where he was then, uh, he's just not normally there that I, I know of given there's not too many bears walking around with it just on its back legs. So when I saw the bear I knew which one it was. 
uh, because I had heard, you know, and seen trail camera videos and photos of the bear walking around. Uh, but as I got closer, I saw the bear had no front arms, none at all. I, and there, it wasn't like, uh, well, the people will, will say like, oh, I have, I've heard this one a bunch. Uh, his legs got caught in a trap maybe and, and they got cut off, watch. That did not happen. I can assure you that did not happen. Um, I don't think they were shot off. So, so another theory is they were shot by a hunter. Don't think so either. I don't know, I was probably within 10 feet of the bear and he was clean nubs. I mean, like he was, uh, my opinion of it is he was born that way and has somehow is the toughest, baddest son of a gun that I'd ever been around because he is living on two legs and he's not like, of course he's not fat, you can see that, but he's also not like deadly skinny either. At least it didn't look like to me. Um, I'm, obviously, it's probably tough for a bear that lives like that and walks like that uh, to put on any weight at all, but the bear looked healthy. We pulled the dogs back from him, got him away, and he went, he literally ran up the hill. I wish I could have got that on video. He just ran up the hill on two legs. But I was just amazed by like, one, how well he held his own. Uh, the dogs were, you know, they weren't whooping his butt or anything like that or vice versa. Um, he, but he definitely made them respect uh, his presence. I'll say that much. But it was just, it was just amazing, you know, being, being an outdoorsman and you think you've seen it all and then next thing you know your dogs have caught a bear on a hillside that's running around on two feet look looks like a sasquatch and i'm guessing when people say they see a sasquatch maybe it is a bear because regular bears can stand up and walk on two feet too you don't see them do it that often but they can do it yeah i mean just a mind-blowing experience people have been wanting to see the video footage and i wanted to do a video like this kind of explaining exactly what happened what it was because i don't want the video footage of like just the you know, a 10 second clip getting taken and uh, you know, out of context or whatever. I wanna do a, a video explaining about it because I think the bear is the coolest thing ever. I, I mean, I hunt bears, I eat bears. Uh, we, we use their hide, you know, whole nine yards. But that bear to me is like, he's just as cool as it gets. And I made a Facebook post and the Facebook post went viral of the bear. And I just included some screenshots, no video or anything like that. One thing I said in the Facebook post is, and it kind of got, I feel like it got misinterpreted, like I passed the bear, I let him go. I couldn't have killed the bear one way or another because it wasn't legal. It wasn't during actual hunting season, just training season, uh, like I explained earlier. So yeah, if I ever come across that bear, and it is hunting season, it is legal for me to take him. If I ever come across him again, he's got a free pass. Uh, that's one bear that I am I'm not interested in killing. Um, you know, I, I love eating them. Uh, I love using their hides. Uh, I love, you know, sharing sharing the woods with, with other outdoorsmen and, and watching them kill their first bear or help them uh, provide meat or, and food for their family. But if we ever come across that bear, he's got a free pass because that dude is a straight up survivor. Um, the fact that he's made it this long is honestly just mind blowing uh, because he's just a beast, an animal that it would not sit right with me if I killed him uh, because he is he's just such a cool cool bear but yeah that's the that's the wild story uh, of we need to name him I didn't I didn't I'm really not into naming animals uh, wild animals he doesn't have a cool name like petals petals is that was a pretty cool name this bear is the no name I don't know <laughs> maybe you all can leave a comment and let me know what his name should be and yeah, and for the anti-hunters, the anti-hunting organizations, whatever, uh, I'm sure they're not they're not gonna like this. Uh, they don't really like anything hunting related, obviously. But I hope if, if you're on the fence about hunting, uh, if you're if you if you you know if you'd like to learn more about it, I guess I will include some in links down here uh, that you can learn some more about conservation, all that good stuff. Uh, so it will be in the description of this video. But. Uh, yeah, just th I don't want them trying to take this video, the footage of the bear and spin it or whatever. Uh, the bear was let go, um, you know, wasn't hurt. Uh, the dogs didn't get hurt, uh, nothing like that. It was a, just an overall awesome experience. And I really just want the highlight to be on how cool this bear is, how tough the bear is to survive and make it. And as far as I know, he's still out there roaming the mountains of uh, Southern West Virginia. So pretty dang cool. I don't think I'll ever get to experience anything like that again. So. Thanks for watching guys, till the next one. Yo. Thank you for watching that video. Uh, you can click right here or right here to watch more videos or you can click 
right here, somewhere right in there, to hit subscribe, and it helps me out, and uh, you can stay up to date with my videos. So make sure to hit the bell notification too, that way you get notified every time I upload a video. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, enjoy.